Hi everybody, we're the guys from Penguin United. We'll be demonstrating how to set up the Eagle Eye Converter for PlayStation 3 in this video. The Eagle Eye Converter is an extremely awesome product that converts your regular mouse and keyboard into a PlayStation 3 controllers, along with other perks such as turbo and macro functions. What we're trying to accomplish in this setup is to map the keys from your PlayStation 3 controllers to your mouse and keyboard and transfer these customized key mapping schemes to your Eagle Eye Converter. One of the best part about this product is that setting up is extremely easy. You will just need a window based PC with a USB port, a mouse, a keyboard, and a CD ROM with your PC. The mouse and keyboard you use for setup doesn't even have to be the same one you use to play your PlayStation 3. So let's get started. First, insert your Eagle Eye Converter to any USB port on your PC. You'll hear a small sound, which means the Eagle Eye Converter has been registered by Windows. There you go. Second, insert the enclosed CD-ROM to your PC and look for a Penguin logo execution file. Open up that file. A simple program will pop up. The program will show a list of keys on your PlayStation 3 controllers to the left and the empty space to the right of it. Right here. Click on the empty space to the right of a PlayStation 3 key and assign the associated key you want to use on your keyboard and mouse. So for direction pad, all you got to do is click on the empty space and press the key on your keyboard. So up, down, left and right. The left analog stick, we're going to assign W, S, A, and D. The triangle is usually the change of web button, so we're going to use F. This is reload, so on and so forth. L1 is the zooming button, so we're actually going to assign a mouse key to it. So we're going to click on it, but we're going to click on right mouse. L2 is a grenade. L3 is actually running, usually, and we're going to use left shift key. This is the key you press when you press down on the left analog stick. R1 is shooting, we're going to assign a mouse key to it again. R2 is another grenade. And R3 is melee, we're going to assign the middle mouse button. Select star and PS, we're going to go with F1, F2, and F3. Combo is a single keystroke that's going to release a combination of keys. We'll go into that a little bit later. So let's go with um, F4, F5, F6, and F7. As you can see, if I mistakenly put F6 here, we're going to erase the key that we previously entered. You can't have duplicate keys. Okay, so let's go back. Abort, we're going to use Escape. So now you're done with everything. Now you need to transfer this key map combination to the Eagle Eye adapter. To do that, you choose a key mapping slot from the top. Choose either key mapping 1 or key mapping 2. We're going to go with key mapping 1. And we're going to press send to device. You're going to see set over, OK, and you're done. Now if you want to have two sets of key schematics in your Eagle Eye Converter, you can pick key mapping number 2, do exactly what we have done before, and press send to device again. The Eagle Eye Converter stores up to two key combinations. and on the EVA adapter, you'll see a little switch that allows you to choose between key mapping 1 or key mapping 2. And um, that's it. And uh, let's go into the combos. So on this screen, you see a second tab. The combos is where you can assign a combination of keys. And uh, we're going to load up an existing combo file to show you how it looks like. This is actually the Zangief combo for flying power bomb. So what happened is we assign action number one going forward. Duration is three. The duration actually means three milliseconds. So if you put down ten here, that actually means one second. So what we have done here is a series of action forward, down, left, up, each lasting thirty percent of a second. And the last action, we pressed up and R1 together to complete the combo. And uh, say we want to do this twice, which we don't, but say we want to do it twice. 
uh, what you can do is you can press this button for forward duration 3 milliseconds and we're going to add and you see that we added another action in here if we made a mistake on it we press delete if we want to get rid of everything we have done press clear are you sure? yes Oops. Sure. Okay, so now we just delete everything. Okay, let's load it back up. And after you have finished your series of actions, um, pick one of the combo slots in here. As you can see, there are four total combo slots for the Ego Eye converter shared between the key mapping one and two. So the key mapping one and two is independent from the combos. So for combo number one, we want to press send the device after you have completed everything and it says send over and now we're done so we have now this combo in the ego eye converter so whenever we press F4 as we have previously signed this combo is going to be released and that concludes our tutorial for setting up the ego eye converter Hopefully you guys will enjoy this product and uh, thank you for your time.